But there is another way. It means you can live somewhere like this, in a mansion in Buckinghamshire, for just 40 quid a week. Not forever, mind you, just until the owners decide what to do with it. It's about protecting properties and stopping them being squatted, stopping them being vandalised, so that when the owners want them back to either develop or demolish, they're ready for them on the day they want. What kind of properties do you let out? I mean, are they all like this? And also, what kind of people occupy them? Yeah, we, we let out uh, to our licensees all kinds of properties. So from beautiful houses like this through to factories, empty schools, churches. And our guardians are also come from a widespread group of people. So we have teachers, nurses, media people as well. well. And how many people live in this building, for instance? Well, this is quite typical size for the properties we look after. And I think this one's currently got six people in it. It sounds great, but there is a downside, isn't there? I mean, you could just be out on your ear within days, couldn't you, if the owner decides he wants it back? Well, there's a downside, but as I say, we try to rehouse the people that we've got in the building in another one of our properties, and our guardians accept that when they sign up for it. Jove Laurenti is one of those so-called guardians. He lives in the mansion's gatehouse. It's the third vacant property that he's occupied under this scheme. The first one was very rough and ready. It was virtually falling down, and uh, you had to do a lot to... I mean, I had to place the windows for starters and paint the place and do it up. Um, the second place was, was beautiful, beautifully maintained and uh, really you walked into a warm colonial building. Both grand buildings, both amazingly interesting buildings, but it's not for everybody. It's, you have to be quite hands-on, be prepared to you know, muck in and tidy the place up and fix a few things. How do you deal with the fact that within days you could be out on your ear? I mean, you're living a gypsy lifestyle, basically. But you are, I mean, if you can handle the fact that you don't have ultimate security, but on, on the other hand, buildings tend to last between minimum of three months, but they tend to last a couple of years, really. The buildings I've been have been a year and a half. You call your tenants guardians, yeah, but in reality, aren't they just glorified security guards? Yeah. No, they're absolutely not. First of all, uh, they're not tenants. We give them a license to occupy, but uh, it's very specifically not 24-hour guards. All they have to do is live here uh, and protect the property as though it was their own home.